Oh, lordy, 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 bro. I'm sure most of y'all heard the name Ethan Klein. Guy right here. Guy's got one of the biggest podcasts on the fucking planet. Does a podcast with that other commie clown, Hassan. Him. Yeah, this is the the dynamic duo of fucking dingbats. Somehow I fucking caught a clip of this piece of his podcast from the other day. And it fucking made my blood boil. It is such a fucking crystal clear case of why the world is turning to the shit that it fucking actually is. When you can sit and just listen to these people living these lives that 90 fucking 8% of the world will never fucking live. But they sit in these bougie ass towers and they fucking just look down on the rest of us and the shit we all gotta actually live in. They end up talking about San Francisco and the smash and grabs. Then they go into some footage of a recent kind of mob smash and grab at a mall in LA. Hearing them was like a punch to my fucking gut. But I figure if there was any better example of just how out of fucking touch how these people can be in these positions that somehow they found themselves in to be the arbiters of fucking what people need to be doing and where the actual problems lie, the world in which these clowns would love to create, and the disconnect between the actual fucking reality of it. This is it. Fucking there is no clearer, better fucking example of just how out of touch these people with these platforms fucking actually is. So we're gonna go over this clip and just, I'm gonna show you better than I can fucking tell you. With me? Let's fucking do it. Anything else in San Fran? Uh, no, I don't think, well, it's just crazy. Like everyone was telling us that uh, there's a lot of smashing grabs going on there. Mm -hmm. And it was scary. Like we were afraid to leave anything in the car because we were getting a lot of TikTok videos too while we were there of people just smashing windows and Steal stealing shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was that was it. You catch them Steal stealing shit. Fill that bag up. So this video is chock full of those comedy punchlines and zingers and fucking laughs and applauses. Oh, I'm trying just buckle up. Oh, buckle up. Yeah, Pretty they were saying even leave your windows open so that people don't just smash them. Yeah, and really. Start going through your car. Yeah. That's that crazy. Was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Imagine fucking like how removed you are from the reality of what San Francisco is already to not have already known that. That's been San Francisco for the last couple years at this point. I don't know if anybody's had the pleasure of getting boots on the ground in San Francisco in the last five years. That fucking place is a toilet bowl. The entire fucking city, once one of the more beautiful cities in the country, has turned into an utter fucking trash can. Utter fucking criminal's fucking paradise because nobody can fucking point the fucking problems out in that city. Oh, just let it all go to shit. And just wait till he actually gets a visual of the shit that's actually happening and his take on it then. Come on in, there. everybody. <laughs> I guess the Republicans right are right. Here. California is a shithole hellscape. There's Democrats, too, that know that California is a shithole and a hellscape. If you can't recognize it at this point, it's just because you're a fucking hammered-in ideologue. I can tell you firsthand, I've been in San Francisco. I've been in Oakland. I've been in LA. Them places are fucking dangerous. Wake up, Ethan. Dude lives in LA. And just, he lives in such a gated community, probably don't never leave his fucking house. But yet somehow is just surprised to hear some of this stuff. Just wait. Oh, just fucking wait. I guess there was like a DA there that like decriminalized uh, stealing anything like under a certain amount. Or it was like, or it's just a misdemeanor if it was like under a thousand dollars. Yeah. You guessed right. They've done that a couple years ago. Made it almost pretty much illegal to go in there and fill a bag up worth of fucking anything. Of course, they put, a, they put a monetary number on it. Nobody's gonna stop you. You just walk in there with trash bags, fill up whatever the fuck you want and walk up out. At least the major cities of California. They won't even call the cops. It's probably store policy to not even try and stop you. And then you wonder why people do what they do. Something like that and it made it a lot worse. I've seen a lot of videos of people going into like CVS and just filling that bag up. Yeah. yeah. There was a major robbery, 30 people in the valley. Uh, the uh, Topanga Mall over the weekend. Right. What? Fucking the nuts. Topanga Mall? Yeah, dude. It was nuts, man. What? You mean the mall I go to? Wait, why didn't I hear about that? What happened? 30 people? 30 people. They Oh, 30 people all committed a robbery together. Yeah. What did they rob? Uh, Nordstrom. They have Nordstrom. A party after is there a video of it? Yeah, there I is. believe so. Yeah. That's well, awesome, dude. You catch that? I'm going to run it back. So, yeah. That's well, awesome, dude. That's awesome, dude. 
Just fucking wait. There is no better example of the fucking morons we got in these positions that are just clown world. Okay, Topanga Mall, that's the mall I always go to with my kids, with my family. Same here. I'm, I, I'm there all the time. VIP high low roller at that. But they weren't store. they weren't like packing heat or anything. They just mobbed it, right? Packing heat, I guess, determines whether or not it could be a problem. You ever seen a fucking group of thirty people intent on doing damage? I mean, I imagine you haven't by the way you sound by everything right now. But packing heat or not, thirty motherfuckers of any goddamn group of people can do some serious fucking damage. Packing heat or not, bro, they gonna fuck some shit up. I believe so. Yeah. Okay, that's less scary. Oh, that's less scary. Because I'm sure you wouldn't be afraid, Ethan. See a motherfucking crowd of 30 people intent on fucking shit up. Ain't never been around a group like that in your fucking life. Bro, it fucking boils my blood to listen to these clowns that live in such another fucking dimension. I mean, that one class said that, yo, that's awesome. That's anti-fucking awesome. It also happened at a Century City the uh, other week. Yeah. Um, they robbed the Gucci store there. And at Glendale uh, Galleria, a bunch of people robbed. I think it was like YSL. Here it is. So you just named two other places they got robbed and got nothing to say about any of that. So it's obviously occurring week to week with this shit. And then you, know, you just can't begin to imagine why it's all going to shit. Can't take a second just to reflect a, yo, everything is turning to shit. Why is it all turning to shit? Cue the, that's awesome. Fill the bag. Topanga Mall, Nordstrom's robberies. 60 to 100,000 stolen. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck that is that's laughing in the background, but that motherfucker, I ain't gonna say what I really want to say, but wow. That what? Was crazy. <laughs> the giggle. I mean, listen. I used to work next to this Nordstrom. Anti-capitalist Dan going. <laughs> Anti-capitalist Dan giggling. These motherfuckers live on the moon. Fucking would just go to bat for all this commie socialist sucker shit. But watch criminals, crime, people that are responsible for destroying everything that people got to use. And then you wonder why certain places and parts of the city ain't got nothing in it. And it ain't because they don't want to be. If they thought they could be in there making money having a business, bro, they'd fucking be there. But you got the culture where don't nobody respect fucking nothing. Don't nobody respect nothing. Don't nobody take no for an answer. At all, no, all it's just, uh, uh, I, there used to be a California pizza kitchen uh, next to this Nordstrom. Yep. Oh my God. I worked, worked next to it for like five years, so it's crazy to see this. What do you mean it's crazy to see this? I mean, like, y'all living under a rock? Bro, this shit is every fucking week some goddamn way around this country. It's to the point where it's just, it's almost unstoppable. Because won't nobody call out the shit when they fucking see it and say, yo, this is bad. We shouldn't be doing it. There's no reason for them to doing it. And we need to get it to stop. If we're all going to have a society in which we share shit and take care of it, I mean, yo, you try and take care of your shit, don't you? But I guess, yo, you just have the thought, it ain't mine, fuck it. Somebody else will deal with it. Somebody else's problem. No, bro, when it all goes to shit, your shit's on that list. It might be further down that list. Your shit is on that list, too. That's what anyone who lives in the Valley knows this spot. Beautiful mall, by the way. Love it there. It won't be fucking beautiful for long. You think your them doors are just gonna stay open forever and just let people come in there and get sixty to a hundred thousand dollars worth of fucking shit a clip? But that motherfucker ain't there in a year, yo. This shit happens once or two more times. There's no reason for them to keep it open. They're losing in minutes what they would normally make in a matter of a month or two. Beautiful Nordstroms as well. We were just small. We were supposed Cord. to go over the weekend, but I'm like, thank God I didn't. Yeah. You know? I don't I mean, think they mugged anyone. Yeah, and nothing would have happened. Nah, but you'd have been all right. They wasn't packing heat or nothing. I mean, because fucking old Airhead says, yo, what nothing to happen. Motherfucker ain't never been around no real shit in her fucking life. Still, you know. I mean, it's Nordstrom's. They'll recover. There it is. Oh, they'll recover. Motherfuckers act like, yo, they do it just to break even. Motherfuckers just open doors up for businesses so they can just get their money back. You know, nobody does nothing to break even. You don't do nothing to fucking break even, you clown. You do it to make fucking money. And if you ain't gonna make money to do it, why would they fucking do it? It's fucking common sense. But yo, you commie motherfuckers lack zero any sort of fucking reality or reason or common sense to approach any fucking thing with any sort of fucking knowledge of, yo, this shit can't just keep happening. We're gonna have to hold people responsible. We start fucking locking motherfuckers up. Maybe this shit might stop. But God forbid, yo, we got policies where we don't call the cops. We're not gonna try and stop them and they'll recover. Gucci, they'll recover. What I'm seeing is just mob style smash and grab robbery. Is that what you see? It's almost another level of just, bro, this motherfucker's got almost 3 million subscribers. This podcast had a million views. It's got 21,000 upvotes. Well, here it is, guys. Feast your eyes.
This is what California hellscape looks like, Texas. You think Texas don't know what type of hellscape California's in? Anybody with a fucking working brain sees what type of hellscape California's in. Let's go. I'm leaving. <laughs> no, you're not. I bet you you got some big high walls around your fucking neighborhood. Big fucking gates, security guard at it. Oh, I guarantee it. You ain't going nowhere yet. Not yet. It'll have to turn into some The Purge shit before yo, you have any sort of reckoning or reflection of, oh, wait a second, maybe this sucker shit I espouse wasn't that great a fucking idea. Jesus, man. Oh, yeah, they play. How do you get this many people together who are down for this? Is there a Facebook group or something? It's a bunch of like-minded, no good, troublemaking, fucking shit up clowns that are all like-minded, that don't give a fuck about shit, don't give a fuck about your shit, don't give a fuck about nothing. We're not going to hold them responsible, we're not going to lock them up, and they fucking know it. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> Nordstrom smash and grab on August 13. Her crew. There was Storm Area 51, Storm Nordstrom. Listen, times are hard, man. I mean, Wipe that's all this tells me. Because everybody's thinking about doing this right. Times are hard or not. It, 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 fucking. Ugh. And they got away, huh? There's a lot of police in the valley. Then no one. Huh. Oh, there they are. A little too late there. Bro, like this shit starts from up top. Shit starts with the DAs and everybody in the politician seats that just think this shit is just a small thing and it's not worth it. Oh, they're just fucking kids. Oh, they're just kids. Let them fucking be kids. What is he on his cell phone? What are you doing, man? Get to work. <laughs> That's not a time for chit chat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, I. I... Listen, I, uh, you thinking of something over there, Ethan? Think it deep, I see. Think it real fucking deep. Get it out, bro. Robberies like this are a symptom of, uh, difficult times. You know, it's got nothing to do with the fact that this shit's just been building. Started out little here and there. Every time you turn around, maybe there's another one. Before you know it, fucking this last year, last year and a half, it's just been everywhere. Been everywhere all the fucking time because nobody gets held responsible. Nobody fucking gets put in jail and sent goddamn down the river for a little bit to pay for the crimes they've committed. Blame the fucking economic systems, I'm sure. So that'd be the commies take of every fucking thing. So, I don't really get mad at, at robbers like this. Yeah. Who do you get mad at, bro? Republicans? Donald Trump, I'm sure. Ron DeSantis? I'm sure yo, you get mad at him quite a bit. But the actual motherfuckers that are responsible for deteriorating the society around you? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't really get mad at him. Norsons will recover. Yo, they got a bottom line, yo. They could take the hit. I mean, it's fucked up. It'd be more fucked up, frankly, if they were, like, going into homes. Bro, it's all fucked up, you clown. It's all fucked up. It all hurts in one way or another. It may be more personal to somebody if it's their house. But bro, that shit hurts everybody. Them motherfuckers going in there stealing a hundred grand out of Nordstrom's. Everybody that's going in there and paying for shit will now pay for that. That will be paid. They will recover it. It'll be brought back in. They're not just going to take that fucking L, bro. Everybody pays for it. It's all wrong. It's all fucking wrong. Into small businesses still wrong it's still wrong obviously it's obviously still fucking wrong you cornball and scary there's no victim shut the fuck up no fucking victim there's no victim whoever fucking bought that shit and needs to replace it and do all the things that come along with losing it is the victim it may not be you you fucking cornball somebody's a victim Somebody fucking lost something that they bought, they paid for, they made. So sucker ass shit to just think, oh, it's from the corporation, yo. There's no victims. Oh, it don't matter, yo. They, you can just take from them forever. There's no victims. Right. Really? They got Unless insurance. you call Gucci. Yeah. You motherfuckers just think insurance is just the end all be all to fix it. Oh, well, they got insurance, yo, that'll fix it. You use your insurance, your fucking premiums go up. You pay more on the back end fucking in all sorts of ways. Oh, bro, like it just, it boils my blood to just know these people live a life so extravagant, so fucking bougie 
and just think anybody could just take an L. Just take an L. Next week when they come back, take another L. Oh, you got insurance. Next week, another L. You got insurance. You think insurers are just going to cover this shit forever? Of course you probably do because you, you can't think of nothing outside your own commie ass, sucker ass shit. And I guess people got scared. But it's scary. It's scary. You guess people got scared? I'd love to see how yo you handle something like that. Fucking in there with your kids. Fucking shopping. 30 motherfuckers come rolling up, masked out, blacked out, fucking taking everything. It'd be scary, yeah, to be in there. I'd be fucking pit. I'd be scared. If it wasn't my kids, dude, that'd suck. Would it suck? Of course it would suck. It'd be terrible being there with your fucking children, something like that happened. You need to start holding these people responsible. You need to make it a point to find out who they are and punish them for it. Not just this endless, oh, they'll be all right. They'll recover fucking pay for that shit you're responsible for your fucking actions you need to be held responsible for your fucking actions my sister and my mom were in a department store when it got robbed one time with like guns or just smashing i don't own. think so i think it was just one guy who robbed the store and Scary. they all got down you don't know what's gonna happen in there somebody robbed robbed a jewelry store at that mall when i was working there once oh man i heard somebody robbed this place this one aren't y'all the same ones that was just laughing about it 30 seconds ago and now all of a sudden these stories that you remember about a time from this other place it's supposed to mean a fuck to something it might mean something you know, if you wasn't laughing about it 30 fucking seconds ago. But for the fact that you're setting all this shit up laughing about it and then think anybody's gonna give a fuck is if you, know, you think you know, that shit affected you because you heard about a robbery that happened on the street with this time that I worked here down the street this other place. Be around it when it happens. Be in front of it. Be surrounded by it. And then I love to hear your fucking laughs and your giggles and that's awesomes. I love to hear all that shit. Oh, I'd love fucking hear your, your thoughts. You get caught up in the whirlwind of that shit and think it's so awesome. And oh, they'll recover. Will you recover? Probably fucking not. At least all oh, that one chick fucking looked like, oh my God. Okay. Okay. Jeez. Ran. That must have been armed, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah. I think so. I think so. I don't know. I mean, I wasn't around it. I didn't see it. Oh, uh, but I think so. Yeah. You know, I think, I think I remember what happened and yeah, yeah maybe. Fuck. It was years ago. Something's going on at Topanga Mall. Y'all need to get your shit together. <laughs> what do you mean they need to get their shit together? How about the fucking LA get their shit together? How about the DA get their shit together? The governor, cunt fucking Gavin goddamn slimy ass Newsom. Motherfucker can't talk about nothing honestly. Deflects and denies and fucking changes the subject on every fucking thing. Y'all motherfuckers are just surprised that this shit is actually happening when you've created it. Everything's been fucking set in stone the last 10 years and we're just now starting to see it on a weekly fucking basis. It's all going to shit and it's cause of fucking commie cunts like y'all. Just thankful it wasn't the Lego store. Park, baby. The Lego store. Thank God. <laughs> they they keep that sacred. They know. I'll tell that. you what, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they didn't they didn't do it to the Lego store, did they? Oh man, I might have not been happy about that. Stores that everybody else goes to, yeah, I, I, like who cares? They'll they'll recover. But the Lego store. Oh man, they didn't touch a Lego store, did they? Fucking grown ass kids, bro. That's all they are. They're grown ass fucking eight year olds with dumb money and just talk out their asshole all day. There's they ever an armed that. if there's ever an armed theft of the Lego store, Zach, you're the first suspect. There you go, dude. There we go. He took all of our rare Mario coins. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty crazy, man. I might take it a little more serious if you took it serious. But for the fact all this slimy cornball jokes and shit y'all throw out the way, this is pretty serious. Not coming from not coming from that cornball mouth. I mean, I, I got to assume you got to be in a pretty bad situation to be down for this because... There's people in worse positions that aren't down for this. Being broke and poor don't just immediately mean, yo, that you're willing to go do stuff like this. It doesn't. Poor people fucking all across this goddamn country, they don't steal nothing. To steal something is a whole nother defect of character that is on its own. It's on its own fucking level of shit. Not just poor, not just fucking ain't got no money, not just cause the fucking societal fucking economic blah 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 sucker commie shit. It takes a fucking certain type of person that'll mob up and go up in a goddamn mall and just 
take whatever the fuck they can get. That takes a whole nother level. It ain't got nothing to do with their fucking conditions of living. It's motherfuckers ain't got respect for shit. Motherfucker ain't never been told no a day in their fucking life. We're not holding them responsible. We're not locking them up. We're not giving them no fucking time. So why wouldn't they? You better fucking wake up, clown. That shit gonna be in your motherfucking gated community before you know it. And you gonna be shivering in your motherfucking goddamn Teddy Fresh khakis. If you have a good job, you're not doing this. If you ain't got no job, you probably ain't fucking doing this, you clown. Give everybody jobs, and that makes all the no good people good now. No, motherfucker, you got to get to the root of that shit. You got to get to the root of what make a motherfucker not goddamn good. And it ain't just having a job or not. It's culture, bro. It's the fucking culture. You got to blend the cultures. You got on one hand a culture that don't give a fuck about shit. Going to do what they fucking want. And then you got another culture, your cornball fucking culture, that don't want to hold nobody responsible. Your objectives and priorities are fucking straight up your dumbass asshole. And wonder why shit's going to shit. Because you're fucking ideologically blind. You look at the whole fucking world like this and wonder, man, I wonder why all this shit's fucked up. Uh, it must be that Trump. Uh, it must be that fucking Ron DeSantis, man. I don't know, man, but I don't. I can't tell where these problems are coming from. Take the blinders off, asshole. Nah, you're just not doing it. Bro, people with good jobs do bad shit, too. Oh my god, bro, these motherfuckers are so stupid. And then, yo, to top it off, bro, you read this fucking chat, this live chat, of all their subscribers at the same time, bro, it's full of them. It's full of these commie, clown, fucking dingbats. That's my theory, anyway. Yeah, you, well, your fucking theory is retarded. You know what I mean? I don't know what you mean. At all. I don't know what you mean about nothing. Because it's all commie sucker shit. Guys, and if you disagree, remember Aladdin, okay? Aladdin and his monkey. Aladdin, bro? This is the argument, yo, you want to fucking make? This is what you think this motherfucking mob is comparable to? Is fucking Aladdin? Bro, your fucking whole worldview is just straight up your fucking asshole. Yep. And they the were, bread. They were stealing Abu. bread. Were they bad people? I mean, technically, yes. Stealing fucking bread, even if you're hungry, is wrong. That's somebody's bread. Somebody bought that, somebody paid for it, somebody made it, somebody sliced it, somebody bagged it. People along the way worked to create that bread. Aladdin, hungry or not, Aladdin go get a fucking job. No, they no. were not. If you ask them, the street merchants, they were ready to chop his head off. Right. Chop his hand off, you fucking moron. Which most of history was, was right in line with that. Which is why a lot of motherfuckers thought twice before they thought about stealing something. Man, I don't know, I kind of like my hand. I'm kind of fucking partial having two motherfucking hands. I might not want to steal this shit. But he had a heart of gold. <laughs> he did He's have a heart of gold. Heart of gold ain't worth shit when you're stealing. You got a heart of gold, ask for it. You got a heart of gold, fucking ask for some help. You got a fucking heart of gold, don't take something from somebody else. I fucking hate a thief. I hate a thief fucking almost more than I hate any fucking thing on this goddamn planet. I fucking hate somebody, think they want to take something from somebody else. I don't give a fuck what you think it's worth. I don't give a fuck how they got it. If it ain't fucking yours, don't fucking touch it. Well, and a Michael shared that fucking bread. And a lot of love. Street rat rip raff. I don't buy that. Street rat <laughs> rip raff. I don't. And now back to jokes. Back to jokes. Singing corny ass fucking songs. Yo, that's all these motherfuckers got. They're just fucking straw man gaslighting, living on another fucking planet. Cornballs. Buy that <laughs> That's a great movie, man. Yes. That's one of the great ones. One of the greats. Oakland State of Mind. What's happening here? These are like the smash and grabs that are going on near San Francisco. It's wild. This guy's just doing it right in front of the person. Oh, that's their car? <laughs> yeah, I believe Dude so. Dude just pulled over his <laughs> license plate. He's got his plates out and everything. That's how airhead this motherfucker is. You think these motherfuckers doing that in their car? You think they gonna pull up in broad daylight, in a car they own, with tags linked to themselves, and do this stuff? That's just how out of touch you are, Ethan. That fucking car is stolen, you fucking dingbat. Yep. Wow. Uh, his gas cap is open. Somebody should let him know. No, but, sir, excuse sir, me. Sir, sir, excuse me, your gas cap. <laughs> fucking jokes. That's what these motherfuckers got. These motherfuckers will sit here and watch somebody get their things stolen and they crack fucking jokes. Maybe they stole it from a gas station. 
while someone's filling up. No, no, no. Joe said, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 you fucking airhead. You fucking delusional fucking Mars living clown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, need help with your <laughs> bag? a little forgetful. Yeah. There's actually another video on this page of someone doing that. Dude doesn't even know what's in the damn suitcase. It's probably just underwear and a fucking used dildo. So what if it was? It's not his to take. Even if it was, you cornball, even if it was the man's underwear and fucking dildos, it ain't his to take. <laughs> Why? I don't know. That's what's in suitcases. Isn't it? Why do you think yeah. that? Woo, fucking kazoos and shit. That's what I mean, dude. Like, yo, I'm t bro, I watch this shit and I'm just, it blows my fucking mind to think, yo, we're in the situation we're in with the clowns making the decisions that they're making and not holding these people responsible, a, a change in all these laws to fucking pretty much help the people that are destroying every fucking thing. The people who ain't gonna follow the rules, they're not gonna follow the laws, they're gonna do whatever the fuck they want. They're gonna take whatever the fuck they want. And meanwhile, the rest of us that just wanna live in a decent fucking society are the ones that gotta pay for it. We're all the ones that end up dealing with it. We're all the ones that take the fucking boot because at the end of the day, we're the fucking morons that are playing by the rules because we're playing by the rules and ain't nobody else going to. How long y'all think that shit lasts? It ain't gonna fucking last forever. Because I'm telling you, bro, I've known thousands of these people who will fucking take everything they can. Consequences be damned. Fuck you. I'm going to take what the fuck I want when I want. I've met a thousands of them. These motherfuckers sit here, laugh, and joke, play fucking corny ass sound effects. They ain't met a fucking maybe one of them in their life. Ain't met a fucking maybe one pure fucking monster. I'm trying to tell you, bro, there's bad fucking people on this goddamn planet. And y'all want to change fucking the laws and the rules to placate them. To placate the people that are just going to fuck shit up. Y'all in for rude fucking awakening. <laughs> what else is in a suitcase? <laughs> Clothes? Mm. Personal belongings? What else is in a suitcase? Personal belongings? Clothes? Just go buy more, guys. Let them take what you have. Go buy more. That's Ethan's fucking grand idea. Commie fucking clown. Yeah, I'll put that... valuable shit in a suitcase. All right. Right. Yo says right. What if they did? What if they did? I guess it's stupid on them for doing it, right? Putting valuable shit in suitcases? Don't you know people focus stealing suitcases? Oh, bro, it fucking oh, it boils my fucking blood. Right. If I have valuable shit, it's on my, in my back, on my backpack. Right. Tip to anyone who wants to mug me. That's these clowns' mentality. If I can't think of it, or if I can't imagine it, it's just not something that could happen. Nobody would do this, because this is what I do. So therefore, everybody else does what I do, right? <laughs> Bro, it's the laughs and they fucking just laugh and fucking laugh. Watch destruction and damage and theft. Motherfuckers breaking windows in front of the people who own it, stealing bags right out the car, and these motherfuckers laugh. Good thing I barely leave my house, so. Yeah. Oh, I fucking believe that. If I don't believe a single fucking word you said this goddamn video, Ethan, I fucking, I guarantee fucking goddamn tea it. Your clown ass don't never leave your fucking house. You just sit in your motherfucking compound and laugh and fucking laugh. Chances are low. Golly, gee willikers, man. Yo's playing a clap fucking sound right now. Whew. It's a troubled world out here. Is it a troubled world, Ethan? I mean, is that your judgment off a couple TikTok videos? I mean, of course it's not because you lived it or seen it or been around it. Just fucking just make snide little rude ass fucking cunt ass comments about it. But at the end of the day, there's not enough space in prisons, right? Like, what the F? Should we really be putting these people in prison? I don't know. I know. Yes, you fucking asshole. God, I can't listen to more of this shit. I can't fucking listen to more of this cunt. Yes, motherfucker. Build as many goddamn prisons as we fucking need. What kind of fucking, like, thinking is that? Oh, man, we can't build no more prisons. So, therefore, we just let everybody do what the fuck they want to do, according to Ethan. Just fucking let everybody fuck shit up. Take what you want. I mean, we can't build no more prisons, right? Yeah, you fucking asshole. Build all the goddamn prisons we need. If you got somebody who ain't willing to respect society, respect property, respect another person, respect something that isn't their own. Fuck that, bro. That's why we got laws. That's why we got rules. That's how we built the world we fucking built, you clown. I know your commie ass fucking spin or spin it somehow. Like, oh, well, America fucking stole this. America fucking stole that. America did that. Bro, I'm talking about personal. People. People in society. 
the motherfucker down the street, the motherfucker around the corner, the motherfucker in the car next to me, the motherfucker in the mall next to me. We got to all fucking at least live in the same dimension. Oh, yo, we can respect each other. We can respect the boundaries of one another. We don't just fucking feel the need of, oh, he's just Aladdin. Oh, he's just, remember that little monkey? Fuck Aladdin. Motherfucker should have got his goddamn hand chopped off. Motherfucker, I bet you ain't stealing nothing else. Exactly like what we need to do some of these motherfuckers. I ain't saying chop their fucking hands off. If that was a threat, if chopping a motherfucker's hand off was actual fucking reality for what these motherfuckers are doing, oh, I bet you some of them second guess it. Oh, I bet you that little Facebook fucking group you were joking about, I bet you there'd be a couple of them thinking, well, if I go do this, I might get my fucking hand chopped off if I get caught. Think that might stop them, Ethan? Oh, I'm sure it wouldn't stop you, you fucking lying ass piece of shit. I tell you, anybody got fucking just a second's thought who already has put the thought into it, nobody's gonna do nothing now. Nobody's gonna stop us. Nobody's gonna call the cops. Everybody's just gonna pull their phone out and fucking record us. You get what you get, bro. When the whole world goes to shit, and when the shit's finally on your street, when it's finally crawled over that big ass wall you got fucking blocking off the rest of society, you'll then recognize it. And by then it'd be too late. And every cornball sucker fucking thing you ever preached is for the reason it fucking happened. Lay in that bed you made, you fucking cornball.